Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade Ponce. If you haven't met me already, hello, nice to meet you. Today's video is going to be a, a little bit of an update. It's been a while since I've given a hormone update. For those of you that don't know, I am transgender. I have been transitioning for six years now, and I've been on hormones for three years now, which is so crazy. So for those of you that don't know what hormones is or HRT, which stands for hormone replacement therapy, um, I naturally don't produce estrogen, obviously, <laughs> and I naturally produce testosterone. To help further my transition, I take these guys right here. I take spironolactone and I take estradiol. I take spironolactone two times a day. They're like these little white pills. I take those morning and night. And then, I hope that wasn't a lot of noise. And then I take the estradiol. Um, I got like cough syrup all over it, so it's like super gross. The estrogen I take three times a day. Just like these little blue pills. They don't look blue in there, but they're blue, I promise. I used to take a shot every two weeks, I believe. I missed the shot so bad. There was like a national shortage of it, so I had to switch to pills, um, which I don't really mind. It's whatever. I'm getting titties anyways. So what hormones do, number one for me, it affects my mood. It affects my mental state. I find that when I'm on my hormones, I tend to think clearly. I don't get as anxious as much. Um, I'm a lot more comfortable in my skin. That's like one of the biggest ones for me is that before I started this, I was so uncomfortable with my skin, you guys. Not like my skin skin, but like in my skin. Just when I'm on my hormones, I just feel like everything's okay. You know, like I have like the center in me and like, I just feel like I, myself, you know, without the cloudy, like haziness of everything, it just makes me feel like myself. It also helps me transition my body to a female body. <laughs> um, I've said this in the past, like I've always been naturally blessed to kind of look the way that I do. Thank God for makeup and for hormones because it kind of just emphasized what I already had, um, kind of made it better. So, uh, like I said, I've been on hormones for three months now. I've taken breaks in between, either for like insurance reasons or personal reasons. I remember a time where I was when I was taking my shot. Um, I would just build up so much anxiety when it was time to go and do my shot. I was I would give it to myself in my thighs. I would rotate, and I would just build up so much anxiety I wouldn't do it, and I would skip it, and it just like. Ugh. It's not good, you guys. It's really important to stay consistent on your hormones just because like your levels will go up and down, your body is changing drastically. And especially like if you already started transitioning, if you stop taking these pills, the effects aren't permanent. Some are. Um, there's like side effects that are permanent, like um, loss in fertility, just like everything like that. So if I were, I'm gonna have to take these for the rest of my life, it's just a fact. Um, I'll always have to take it. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But if I were to stop taking estrogen altogether and just like went back to normal, um, my face would change, my body would change, I would lose my boobs, which we don't want. I'll fight you for them. There are some side effects to hormones. Um, you know, like I said, loss of infertility is a big thing for me. Um, I mean, I wasn't going to be able to have kids anyways, but like that option is out of my life now. Um, it's okay. Like I said, my journey a little bit before I met John and um, I never really thought about it, but yeah, that's a different video. <laughs> okay. So let me just talk about my changes. It's been three years. So like the little changes, like my breasts don't hurt anymore. That's a common thing for girls that start tran um, transitioning is that um, astrology, you get like these little buds. It's like going through puberty again. So like it starts to hurt and your boobs are so hurt and like, <laughs> It just feels like for women out there, it's like when you're on your period and you get like your just boobs are just engorged and sensitive. That's what it is like for us. Um, I wish it would get more engorged though. <laughs> but yeah, so they just get tender. Um, I am a, this is kind of weird to say, I am a 38D. That's where I'm at with my size. Um, I naturally had a little bit of a chest. I had um, gynecomastia, I think it's gynecomastia when I was a male. A boy. Ooh, the sunlight though. Yes. Ooh, I should take a picture. Um, <laughs> so I've always had a little bit of a chest. Um, so that just got emphasized. Um, my curves, I've always had a curvy body, but everything just goes to where it should. Like it just fills everything out. One thing that I do hate um, is that like I tend to hold weight in my stomach, um, especially like right above my chest. It's like bloated all the time so it's hard to lose weight there 
um, my skin has cleared up a whole lot. You guys have seen my, seen my skin um, without makeup, but uh, before I started hormones, I would break out. Um, hyperpigmentation was a huge deal for me. Texture was a thing for me. Um, now everything's pretty much leveled out. Of course, hormonal changes, like you still get, I still get blemishes and stuff like that, but not nearly, not nearly as much as before. Um, my butt got bigger, so that's a thing. Um, your skin gets softer. Um, you guys, it's so hard because I've been doing this for so long. I can't remember all my changes. Like, I just tend to live my life. And I think that's what the most important thing about hormones is. is not for the physical aesthetic changes that you go through. It's the mental. It's the inside. It's feeling right in your body. And I don't know. Like, I just feel like this is who I am. I can't imagine my life anyone else. And I think back in the past, like I can only see myself as Jade. Um, even when I look at old pictures of me, like I still see me there. Like I don't like think it's me, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, so I'll try to update you guys sometime in the future. Just let you know how my hormones are going. I just wanna say to all of the young trans people out there, even older trans people, you guys, I have met more older people beginning their transition than younger people. Um, which makes me so sad, but I'm so happy for them that they're starting. That's all that matters, is that at the end of the day, you live your life who you are. Um, yeah, so I just want to let you guys know, be who you are. You know, you go through these times where people might not always get who you are, or have a problem with who you are, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Like, they're not living your life. Everybody that had an issue with me transitioning, I no longer speak to them. They're not important to me. My family was fucking down for me. My boyfriend's down for me. So everyone else, I don't care. <laughs> like, I truly, you truly cannot care about it because how sad. Like, we only have one life. You don't get to go back and change things as much as we wish we could. So you have to, as long as you're in a safe place, you have to just go for it. Just do you, like who cares? You're not gonna speak to these people years later or months later. I know it seems hard in the moment, but I know if you were thinking about it, do it. Don't wait, that's one thing that I regret in my transition is waiting so long. I am such a procrastinator, as you guys know. Um, so I waited a while to get on hormones. Um, I didn't really feel like I needed it, um, but I do. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wish I started earlier to see changes earlier. The younger you start, the better. I just want to push the mental aspects out more than the physical aspects just because it helped me so much. You guys, you guys know my story. I had bad anxiety. I had depression. I was literally a shut-in. I did not leave my house for over a year, um, really, besides to get drunk. So it's really changed my life. Um, I feel peace, I feel calm, of course, I get my mood swings, I get crazy. But I feel as long as I like maintain my schedule and my routine and I try to take time for my mental health and for my family and for myself, um, I tend to be okay. I have been also considering getting the surgery. The surgery? Before I never really wanted it and I still don't know if I want it at this moment in my life. Um, I feel pretty comfortable, but I have been talking about it. It has popped in my head a little bit more than usual, so yeah, I'll kind of let you guys know where I am with that. Right now I'm indifferent. <laughs> some days I want to, some days I don't. It's a big step, you guys, like, it's just huge, like, it's such a huge surgery and it's such a huge undertaking and it's such a big life change that I just want to make sure that, like, I'm in the good spot before I consider anything. Also, one thing I want to say is, if you're considering hormones, do it for yourself. Make sure you do it for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else, for your family, for a guy. You guys, like I said, I transitioned, I started like presenting as female and transitioning three years before I started hormones. And I wasn't in a rush. The main thing about, I feel like being trans is just like, just feeling comfortable. Like yeah, hormones will help you tremendously. But when I didn't have the money for it, I had no resources. Um, all I had was makeup and my personality, and I made it through. Just live your life authentically. You don't have you don't have to wear as much makeup as me. You don't have to like look the same ways as I do. You don't have to do the same things as I do. As long as you're doing it for yourself, honey, I don't care. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for my little update. 
Um, if you guys have any questions down below, I'm an open book. I don't care about questions. It doesn't make me upset or anything. I don't get mad. I understand. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will definitely comment back and answer your questions. Um, questions, questions, questions. I'm also going to link the playlist of all my other updates, so if you're curious about my earlier updates when I first started, I do have videos on them about me talking about them and like showing you my body, blah, blah, blah. So if you want to see those, I'll link them down below. Um, I think that's it. I love you guys so, so, so much, and remember to keep your happiness first. Bye, guys. See you soon.